If you're fed up of generating AI images that can't be edited, well, that's the thing of the past with this new tool. It's called the Molly Pix, and you can generate AI images that can be edited afterwards. Plus, no issues with misspelling. So let's go check out Molly Pix AI. What's up, everyone? So this is Molly Pix, and I'm currently on my dashboard, and it comes with a ton of templates available that can be edited right away, or we can generate our own via AI. Now, the cool thing about Molly Pix is that, it, is that it comes with an image editor, plus everything that has words will be available to be edited, all right? So before I show you how this works, let me show you the lifetime deal that's going on right now, because you can grab Molly Pix right now for a lifetime deal. So that means that you pay once, and use it forever now there's a 60 day money back guarantee so go ahead and buy it with calm check it out test it if you like it go ahead and keep it if not go ahead and refund it now let me show you what that lifetime deal is going to get you with the plans that they have available right now so let's go check them out now on this deal there's three license tiers available that we can select from now honestly i think the license tier one would be a skip for me because you can enhance the prompt which i think is a really great feature that i will be showing you on this video so i would be recommending license tier two or three, which gives you access to more credits, more uh, generated designs. You get the enhanced prompts, remove image background, brand kits, etc. You get a whole lot of more features in those two LTDs. Now, I know it's a big bump with the price increase, but it's well worth it for the extra features. Okay. Now, Molly Picks, how does it actually work? Now, first off, there's a bunch of templates that we can start using right away, or we can generate our own. So, in this case, if we go to create, and we want to create something for I'll, I'll use one of these a sales posters so i'll just go ahead and select this and it will come with available prompt that you can start using right away if not we can go ahead and start with our own prompt from scratch and we can go ahead and enhance the prompt so for example i'm going to say i want to make a youtube party for subscribers on may 2026 all right so here we go that's a basic prompt that i'm writing i'll go, go ahead and enhance it right now and it's going to do its job and i have a brand kit that i've created previously that i can go ahead and use or i can turn this off here we go it's now enhanced and we can edit these sections that it's recommended me to actually edit like the date the information what's it going to be about the date etc and i can edit all this right now so in this case i'll just keep it as it is i am not going to use the brand kit for now let's go ahead and generate the, this and it's going to generate a design that action i can actually edit afterwards so let's give it a few seconds for this to be finished all right so the designs are now ready and we can edit these designs so that's a really interesting part about molly pigs and that's why i like molly pigs so i can go ahead and remix any of these if i like the style of one of these designs i can go ahead and edit this and i can go ahead and go to start it dislike it or download it just as it is but in this case i am going to edit because that's the idea of this so let's go into the edit feature right here and it's going to take me to the image editor of molly Pix. now be aware that if i select sections i will be able to edit them and these were generated with ai now the cool thing about this is that if there's something that is misspelled or you want to change a word or something like that or correct the spelling i can just go ahead and type inside of here here we go i am editing that section so I don't have to worry about the misspelling when you generate an AI image, which happens a lot with the AI image generators that are out there. Plus you don't get editing features like you would right now. Now in this case, there's not many elements generated to this, but some of the ones that it generates, you got a whole bunch of elements that you can go ahead and edit right away. Now let's just say that we want to keep it as it is, Command C or Control C in Windows, and I have editing features available right here. So for example, I got the flip, I got effects, fit to page, apply mask, crop. I can do AI edit. So if I select the image, I'll use AI edit right here. And I have my editing features on the left. I can generate an AI image similar to this one. And I have similar or creative. And I'm just going to go all the way creative to be, uh, be crazy about it. And this is only going to take up one of the credits. So let's see what it's going to generate for us. That is similar to this one. Okay, here we go. We got a second image. And I love the colors that this image has. I'm going to apply it. Here we go and we can bring it to the back of the layers let's bring it to the back here and here it is now obviously we have to change these colors add some elements to it but you have elements available here you got text that you can add you got media files that you can upload you got elements images backgrounds layers and resizing options 
Now in AI tools, there are more AI options. So you got the upscaler. So in case you upload an image that has bad quality, you can go ahead and upscale it. In this case, we do have a good image. You got a magic erase. Go ahead and select what you want to erase and use the generate to go ahead and remove it. There's the magic edit. So if you want to change an aspect of this, so for example, if I want the balloon to be uh, green instead of red, well, that is possible with this option. Or if I want to expand it. So here we go. Just to say that I want to use a one by one, or if this image is going to be 16 by nine, I can go ahead and make it finish the rest of this image. So for example, I'll fit it there uh, around here and let's go ahead and generate and it'll fill the rest with the expand option. Now, I love this option because you can bring images that are not uh, complete and we can go ahead and complete them. Sometimes you'll have like a railroad that's going to continue. Well, this will continue with the expand option. So let's wait for the results right now. OK, here we go. We got the changed results with an expanded image and we can go ahead and apply it and add it to our design. We can also use prompt options if we want to change something. So if we want to say just make all the balloons red, well, we can use that prompt in the expansion when it generates the next balloons, right? So you have those AI image editing options and you got a ton of options here like positioning in elements, duplicating elements, deleting the elements. And you have all those options available. Plus, you can download it right away from here. So it's just super easy to use. And I love those options that you have the option to edit the design afterwards. Now you have options to create brand kits right here. So you don't have to make these manually with the colors that will fit into your design, your branding colors. Just add your brand kit right here. You got templates available. So if you like something, for example, I don't know, I want to generate a poster. Well, it's going to help me with this decision. And I'm just going to use Halloween for this test. Here we go. I like this one. I can go ahead and edit this one or I can go ahead and remix it. Now I have the poster right here and I have the elements that I can go ahead and edit, remove or add if I need to. So it's just super easy and practical. But for me, the where it shines is creating with a brand new design, enhancing the prompt and generating the design and then editing with your details. So it's a great option to use Molly Picks if you want to generate AI images that can be editable afterwards. So do consider the lifetime deal is going on right now. And I think it's an affordable lifetime deal because you only pay once and you can use it forever without that monthly payment. And don't forget, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. OK, so check out Molly Picks in the description. There's a link right there. And that's a wrap.